Well, thanks everybody uh, for joining today. Uh, we did one of these last week and the week before that, we've had some good feedback. Um, so we wanna continue to educate everyone out there, let them know what we're thinking. And everything seemed to be so negative. We wanna kind of give you 10 things that we know that you can do or at least should be thinking about here uh, during this time period. All right, number four, what is something that you could be doing? You could be rebalancing your portfolio. Rebalancing is different than market timing, right? So rebalancing is selling some stocks, buying some bonds, or selling bonds, buying stocks, or between different asset classes based on a set of rules, okay? If we're doing it based on emotion or what we heard in, in the locker room at the golf club, which you're not even allowed to go to anymore, um, you know, then you start to get into this market timing. We're talking about following a formula to rebalance your portfolio. So as an example, right, you may rebalance your portfolio when it's misaligned by say 5%. So your portfolio originally was 75% stocks, 25% bonds. Well, the coronavirus crash has come and now without you doing anything, you left it the same, you've unintentionally reduced the amount of risk in your portfolio and maybe now your portfolio is 60% stocks, 40% bonds, right? So what you've unintentionally done is taken on less risk of your, in your portfolio, and you've actually lost out on some of the future gains of having the same amount of risk in the portfolio. So if you rebalance and say now when your portfolio drops from 75% stocks down to 70% stocks, let me sell off 5% of the bonds and rebuy the stocks. What you've done is you've systematically, right, by a set of rules, not following emotion, not listening to a guru, you have systematically bought low and sold high. We all know that we should buy low and sell high because we're rational human beings, right? I wanna buy things at a discount. Yet, there's overwhelming evidence to show that investors do the exact opposite, right? Our emotional behavior takes over. There's a lot of good news on TV. We just heard about someone else um, you know, one of our friends bought something, they got a great deal on it, they're making tons of money, right? Because they don't ever tell you about when they lose money. Um, and all of a sudden now we start making emotional decisions. Well, if you systematically rebalance, follow a, a formula that buys low and sells high. <music>